Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to seven questions with Emmy. Today I'm here at the um, Legoland at Legoland theme park in San Diego, California, and today I'm here talking with Julia Estrada. Estrada, she's the public relations director here at Legoland. And I'm so happy to be here interviewing you today. I'm happy you're here and experiencing the park with your family. Should we get started with the questions? Sure. Okay, question number one. What's the best part of your job here at LEGO Life? Oh, I think when I get to see kids laughing and smiling and having fun with their family, they're not on their phones, they're not looking at TV screens, they're actually doing things with their hands and they're building and they're yeah. screaming on the roller coasters. All of our roller coasters here are called pink knuckle roller coasters. So you're not squeezing so tight that your knuckles turn white. They're just pink because it's just enough to excite you but not scare you. And yeah. I love when I pull into the parking lot and I get to hear the kids screaming and enjoying themselves and that's that's something that yeah. never gets old. Um, how did the idea for Legoland come about? Mm. Legoland came from Lego Bricks. So Lego Bricks actually, Lego just celebrated their 90th birthday last year, 90 years. It started with the Christensen family in Denmark and they were building wooden bricks and those wooden bricks became plastic bricks which became Lego and Lego comes from the words Legot which means play well in Danish and people started coming from all around the world to see them building these Lego bricks and putting them together and creating amazing models like this and so that's kind of where Legoland was sparked and we now have 10 Legoland parks around the world. That's cool. Um, what is something someone might not know about Legoland? Ooh, I have so many of those. Okay, I'll give you one fun one and then one that I think everyone should know about, yeah? Yeah. So all on everyone's brick badge, so with the model, every model citizen, we call our employees, has a brick badge. And they will have a minifigure on here. You can ask any model citizen in the park for their brick badge and exchange them for one of yours, and they have to say yes. That's a fun fact. The second thing is all of our Legoland resorts in North America just became certified autism centers. So one in 36 children in the United States has autism and we want to make it fun for them to be able to come and experience the park. So we worked with um, IBCCES, it's a really long name, so I won't go into that, but to make these sensory guides so that you know how intense something is so that your child will have a better experience in the park. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. How many rides are here and what's your favorite? Oh, um, we have more than 60 ride shows and attractions in the park all throughout Legoland California Resort and two water parks and Sea Life Aquarium and two hotels. Um, I think my favorite is probably Ninjago the Ride where you get to get in. Have you ridden that yet? No. Oh, it's the best. You get down and you have to fight the bad guys but you're using your hands so there's an air sensor and you're moving your hands to fire off fire and um, ice and water. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Um, can you tell me about Mini Legoland San Diego and the new BMX stunt show? Yes, so Mini Land San Diego is where we're standing right now. We are now in downtown San Diego. There's the trolley just going by. It's taking its Mini Landers from one spot to the other. We have more than 4,000 of these Mini Landers in here. Um, it took 70 master model builders from all around the world to build this within almost two years. We have all these different scenes. You'll see Petco Park over there. You'll see downtown, Old Town, the San Diego Fair. Um, the Coronado is on the other side, and you can see the bridge walking to it. There's 100 different scenes that you can see within and more than 40 different structures inside. And I've been out here a couple times, actually more than a couple, and I still can't see everything. So I, I love that it's giving everybody a sense of San Diego in a 15 minute walk. And the BMX Stunt Show is our new Go Extreme. It starts this summer. Um, it's part of our summer block party that we're having with all new shows, costume characters, um, and some cool like Ninjago show, a Spinjitzo show that will, like, you'll become a master ninja yourself. Um, and then the Stunt Show, where we actually have BMX riders and skateboarders and doing these crazy zany stunts. And the audience, our guests, like you, get to help judge who's the best one. I brought you a present. I get a present? Yeah. Did you know it was my birthday last week? No. You didn't? Did you know my birthday was yesterday? So this <gasps> is a good birthday present. It's a good, yeah, your it's birthday was yesterday? It's a fantastic birthday present, yeah. We are both Geminis. Who knew? Uh-huh. That's a good time to have a birthday. Oh my gosh, how cute, how cute your card is. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh, oh, sweet. 
And your writing is so nice. You want to tell me what's in yeah. the bag? So there's okay. a thank you card. I read that. I always read, and, always read your cards first. Yeah. Tip. And then there is <laughs> a seven quite, uh, no, not so. seven an foot. Idaho potato. Oh my gosh. Spuddy buddy. A spuddy buddy. Uh, I've never had a spuddy buddy. That is so cute. Oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you. And then there's more. Oh, there's stuff more? In here. Yeah. Ooh, there's more. So there's a. a Your cards. Some cousins, pen, and a business My card. own. For all your Love. famous friends, you have to give it to me. Yes, I will. I give it to all my famous friends. What is this? A seven questions keychain. That's that. cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's very You're sweet. Welcome. And you know, I know a lot of famous people because we get a lot of celebrities that come to the park. Yeah. Yes, a lot. That's so. Cool. Yeah, we just had we just had Gwen um, Gwen Stefani was just in the park. Do you know who she is? Mm -hmm. Yes, a Tony Hawk and Bass like, remember. Do they have private security people? Sometimes. Sometimes they come on their own. Like Gwen Stefani came in the park, we didn't even know. And then we saw it on our Instagram page. All the Kardashians have been here. Chris Pratt has been here. Everyone in the Lego movie has been here. Elizabeth Banks, Will Ferrell, Steve Carell. Yeah, so the whole, you have to go see the Lego movie world. Did you go see that yet? Yes, we were just there. That's amazing. So they all came to see that and to check it out. So we get celebrities in here all the time because they love the park and they love to experience it. And they're, they're, they have kids too. So they just want to be like normal people and enjoy and have a theme park. So this is Miniland San Diego, which we just opened, but I just talk about it. I don't get to build it. We actually have master model builders here at the park who design and build and maintain all the models in the park. That's so cool. let's talk to Carter because he can tell you more about the models. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're here in the model shop talking with Carter Cummings. He is one of the amazing master builders here. So if you're in the park and there's stuff that he's worked on from Miniland San Diego, and have you worked on other stuff here too? I have, yeah. So a few weeks ago, once we finished Miniland San Diego, we're still actually adding a couple models for San Diego, but we're working on um, a few upcoming projects that we have. We can't spoil anything just yet, but we do, do get to work on some other models park-wide. That's cool. Okay, um, how did you get your job? I, I had to do an interview. We had to build an apple, and I can show it to you here in a minute. I think we have one just behind me. So when you come in for a Legoland interview, they'll have an apple on the desk or maybe a different model, and they'll give you a bunch of different trays, and you have to copy build that apple. I was told we had to do it in about 30 minutes. So it was a, a timed skills building test, and it was a little bit nerve wracking, but I, I completed an apple, and I can show you here in just a minute. Um, what is the coolest part of your job? I think getting to work with people that have a div very diverse background. There's people who have um, backgrounds with music or um, metal work. So there's, there's so many different people that contribute to an awesome team here. So we, we all really get to share what we love with our work. I think the apple's here now. Is this the apple? There's the apple. So that's that's what a Legoland California interview might look like for somebody that were to apply. That took you 30 minutes. Uh, I think I did mine in about 15, maybe 17 minutes, somewhere in there. Sometimes we'll have an apple building competition just to see how fast we can do it with some of our other coworkers. That's cool. <laughs> um, what is the longest time you spent on a project and what was it? The longest time, I think when we built Petco Park, it's our baseball stadium here in San Diego. Uh, it was built in 10 sections and it took about six of our master model builders a couple months, about two and a half months to build. Over 100,000 pieces were used to complete it. So that's out in Miniland San Diego. Yeah. Uh, just the stadium alone was about two and a half months and then to populate it with all of our Minilander Lego people was uh, even a couple more weeks just beyond that. Um, how, how did you, what, I, when did you know you wanted to be a Lego master builder? I think ever since I was a little kid, maybe four or five years old. I always loved building with Lego as a kid and I went to school for architecture so building models has always been a part of what I love doing. Yeah. Um, have you ever been nearly finished with a project and then it all falls apart? Not yet. Hopefully that doesn't happen but I haven't had that happen yet. Well I hope it never happens. Me too. <laughs> how many pieces are in the year in all? Like we typically have about 3 million Lego bricks in the shop alone. So we, we do have a brick stock. PJ is our model shop lead. He handles all of our Lego brick orders. We get an order every couple of months or so, and he is responsible for stocking all of these shelves and keeping everything organized so we have what we need when it's time to build. That's a big job. It's a very big job. It's a full-time job. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, what is the secret to building a very cool Lego set? Secret to building a cool Lego set? A lot of patience. You have to have a lot of yeah. patience. You, you have to be creative. I think it, it, it can be a challenge. I, I wondered if, if I had the right amount of creativity to, to do the job, but working with a team that's, that's equally creative in different areas, that, that starts to get shown in the work that we do. So having, having creativity and having the interest in getting to build stuff is really fun. I have a present for oh, you. Oh, thank you so much. I'll tell you what, i set this down. I'll trade you. I heard it was your birthday. So <laughs> I have a very rare, it's my birthday Legoland pop thank badge that you, you can wear. Thank you. This is so cool. <laughs> and I have a couple more Junior Master Model Builder pop badges you can share with your family. Thank you. You're very welcome. Can I open it now? Yes. Okay. You don't have to wait till your birthday. <laughs> That's good. My birthday just passed too, so yeah, I have to wait almost a full year. Long time. So there's an Idaho potato. It's oh. called Spuddy Buddy. I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> you can put that on your desk. I will. Thank you so much. You're That's welcome. so sweet. There's more in there too. Oh, I see. Let me, let me switch <laughs> gears. Yeah, I don't want to drop. Ooh. There, Ooh, so nice. this is a seven questions with Emmy light box. It lights oh. up and it says your name. Thank you so much. And then there's a seven question with Emmy pen. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. And That's awesome. And then there's a thank you card in there and oh. a business card, I think. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate this. This means a lot. I'm glad you were here today. <laughs> I'm glad that we, I am here. Oh, good. Make sure you come to Legoland and maybe you can meet people like Julie and Carter. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.